It is a women's 115 pound matchup between Cynthia Calvillo and Angela Hill. So here's the Muay Thai striker Angela Hill training under the great Eric Del Fierro at Alliance MMA there in Southern California. Her best days are ahead of her undeniably. Went the distance with Jessica Andrade back in 2017 and that really put her back on the radar of UFC fans. She had spent a year outside the octagon. What did she do? Realized an Invicta FC strawweight title. So we'll see what Angela Overkill Hill has in store here tonight. This woman has frightening knockout power absolutely thunderous power behind both her punches and her kicks. She is a real threat to knock anyone out in this division. All right, so here she is, Cynthia Calvillo, firmly in the strawweight mix here, and really has been from the moment she made her UFC debut back at UFC 209. Submitted Amanda Cooper. One pay-per-view later, submitted Pearl Gonzalez. This daughter of Mexican immigrants is a legitimate threat to all of the elite at 115 pounds. Not a woman you want to mess with when it comes to the transition and scrambling game on the canvas. Cynthia Calvillo, thankfully for the fans, back for more tonight. This girl is so good at taking fighters to the ground from the clinch. She has a full arsenal of takedowns and throws from the clinch. Tying up with her is a dangerous proposition. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 30 years old, with similar height and the same reach. Here for the official introduction, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting! This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, USA, Angela Overkill Hill. And now we're producing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of Seven wins, one loss. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Body out of Sacramento, California, Cynthia Cavillo. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night tournament. Calvillo gets tagged by that kick. That can't feel real good, Joe. She landed the head kick there. Oh, nice punch there by Calvillo. That one hurt. Level change there, goes for the takedown. Got clip with the right hand. Nice hammer fist. She transitions to side control. It appears she's putting herself into a position to go after that arm. And she's out of the submission. 
Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. She moves into full mount. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, man, I love it. Reversal here and into full guard. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe. She continues to show a vulnerability here. Good kick. Big left, left punch. Hand there. Oh, very nice. Kick to the body by him. Oh, big shots. Perfectly timed sweep. She establishes full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Hill gets back up again. Oh, she connected flush. She's going back to the jab. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, she tagged her with a right hand there. Oh, oh the fence is shaking after that slam, Joe. Consistently finding a home for that left punch. She's trying for Kimura here. That arm looks locked up tight. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This Kimura is very tight here. She might be forced to tap. And that will oh, do it! Beautiful technique, setting it up, and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly, she had an opening, and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So that win by submission figures to silence any remaining doubters. And that certainly puts the rest of the division on notice. Huge result for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by chop out due to a Kimura, Cynthia Gabriel! Oh, well, how good was that as you get to see her now celebrating with her coaches and training partners? She really put an added focus on getting a submission win here tonight, or at least getting a finish. But she said, I got to figure out a way to lead the judges out of it. I don't want to go to the scorecards. I need to get a finish to take my career to that next level. And a submission win like this will certainly go a long way in doing just that. She has certainly set herself up for a high-profile opponent now moving forward.